pal. Special show. Here we special, are. Special impromptu uh, post we Met game even, show. We weren't even going to be here for another week or two. But so much has happened. And we said, hey, let's – actually, you said it. And Big I'm happenings. Like, I was hip to it. I'm, I'm not a guy that – has to jump on every time something big happens. But I think this was worthy. This is important. I, I think many consider this guy, including myself, the best player in the world. So when news pertaining to the best player in the world, I, I think we have to make a special exception for that. Am I well, right? Big news. Big news pertaining to the to – the... right? Big news. Huge. I don't have it even ready to go, but – and I'm oh, sure this, everybody who's – I'm sure – This is serious oh, you, news. This is Josh. I didn't write any notes. I didn't write any notes. So why don't you talk and I'll sit here and listen. Uh, so for, for, the, for the 10 of you who watch the show and the three that don't know why we're doing a special show, uh, the way I read it – and you tell me if you read it differently. But the way I read it is Match Room kicked Filler off the team. For Reyes Cup. Has been withdrawn. It wasn't he tells pulled me, out. Has right. been withdrawn. They. Yeah, withdrawn tells me. Yeah. It was Matchroom's choice. And, and, and when we say Matchroom, that's that's Emily Frazier just yeah, flexing now, on what, this guy. Right. Now, what Josh said in his post is differently, is different. Saying uh, con- contract. Uh, obligations, blah blah blah. Uh, I'm going to want to say that uh, what Matchroom said, because of the way they said it, um, Matchroom's telling the truth here. Something I want to show you, um, which is, I guess, cool but not cool. Uh, this is Google News. Uh, put it right here. Google News. On my Google News feed, World Pool Champion removed from European team for, for Reyes Cup. Uh, so, and why I say it's cool, I mean, it's negative, right? But what makes it cool is that it's, it's on the Google News feed, you know? So, some press is better than no press, right? Yeah, and, and so, that's very rare to see something from from our sport like that. Yes, just on world news. Yeah, uh, and I'm sure the but I'm sure the the algorithm knows that I'm always looking at pool stuff, so maybe it's pushed to me. I'm sure not everybody in the world get it because I don't get any news about soccer, you know, because I don't give a rat's ass about <laughs> soccer, you know. It's anyway, a world sport. Now I can't find the darn thing. To read it to you. It's, oh, yeah, I, was, I was looking for the same thing. Josh is. Oh, here's, uh, here's this. Here's the statement from. This is why. I, this is. I'm going to read this to you. This is why I believe. Matchroom's version of the event. So I'm going to read this to you. I'm going to read the entire press release. Josh Filler has been withdrawn from the Reyes Cup and will re- be replaced by David Alcady as the next highest ranked player. That was the whole statement. Uh, no sugar coating it. No nothing. Down and dirty. Oh, here it is. Here, here's the uh, one from Google that I saw. Loading. World. This the headline reads: World Pool Champion removed from European team for Reyes Cup after after reversing stance on Vietnam ban. Blah blah blah. Regretfully, Josh Filler has been withdrawn from the 2024 Reyes Cup due cons- to due to concerns over. Con- contractual obligations and team integrity around the event as the next player ranked, blah, 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 blah. A few hours later, WNT changed their announcement. Uh, Josh Filler has been, has been withdrawn from the Reyes cup and will be replaced by David Alcady as the next ranked player. Um, Filler, blah, 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 blah. Any, uh, Filler, Shaw, Ruiz, Kachi, and Akati are all part of the of all part of a group of top player players 
who have collectively posted a boycott messaging to the WPA on August 9th, demanding the demanding the ban on Vietnam, Vietnamese and Asian players to be lifted. In solidarity with our colleagues, we have decided not to participate in any WPA events unless the bans are lifted. The group of top players said in a statement. All right. So really no no, no news here. Just reporting it. Um, when, when people say top, they say all these players band together in solidarity. It wasn't the whole league. It was it was 10 players. It was 10 to, yeah. to 15 players. And these yeah. are all the players that are in the money. So when they when they try to say like oh this is a league wide thing and and Josh turned his back on the league it, it's total bullshit bro it was a handful of players and also I heard it was a, as a handful of players that collectively got together and expressed their desire to have him removed yeah I I I I, I thought about this this morning uh, when you messaged me I thought about trying to in my head it's all. Me guessing, I don't know anything. You know, I don't have. And, that, and that's you know, all we got is speculation in, in, right. until we hear from Josh and Emily or both, or or one mouth, anything. Yeah, or mouthpiece Molina. Um, <laughs> I got them all, bro. I gotta believe what happened was this had nothing to do with WPA. Yeah, or had nothing to do with what Filler did with WPA. This is what this is my opinion. Not again, totally guess, totally shot in the dark. <clears throat> Players are now in Hanoi. It's day two of Hanoi, right? Emily is talking to players, and the players from uh, the Asian team, or you know, or specifically the Filipino players, are talking to Emily and saying, you know, we're not happy. We're we're not happy that he's he. Didn't stand by us, and uh, you know, you know. However, they say we're not happy. You know, he's playing something like that. And Emily said, "Oh, here's an opportunity for me to what you did, flex, yeah, and kick them off the team." And she and they're they're very big. Like they're trying so hard to to cur to corral this Asian market. I I, right. I think she she's taken any influence and, and, and right. whatever she can from these not only yeah, group think, of players but from, but from being in the area. Yeah, I think she took this as an opportunity to, in a lot of ways, sucker punch Filler. You yeah. know, because I think Filler will play in any big event. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he want to? So if you think about it from Filler's point of view. There's no reason for Phil to say, I don't want to be there. There's no reason for him to do that. I, listen, I could be totally off base, but my opinion is the Asian, the Asian players, specifically the Filipinos, said, we're not happy with what happened with Filler or what Filler's doing. And Emily took it as an opportunity. Yeah. That's, it doesn't sound so far-fetched, right? No, I... I... Now that now that you say these these Asian players, I start to think about it, and, and yeah, I could see that happening. My interpretation was like Jason Shaw, FSR, are 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 so uh, embraced with Matchroom and Emily as a whole that uh, they're calling it a, a coming together of players, but really it, it's just like these guys spitballing off each other just to yeah. just to pr just to prove a point. And, and think about this. Yeah. Th th think about this. If you're a guy like Shaw, and I'm not saying Shaw said this. I, I'm just saying if you're a guy like Shaw, of course you're going to you're going to chirp to Emily. No, we don't want Feller there. Yeah. Who's who's because, benefited the most besides Jason Shaw? Nobody. Yeah. Huge. You know. Uh, wait. You could take the number one ranked player, the number one ranked player in the world, off your opponent's team. Yeah, kick him out. Yeah. I agree with you, Emily. She kick him out. And and right. and when when word came down about these teams and and how lopsided the public thought they were, what a, what a better way to even the even the teams than getting rid of the number one player? Yeah, and the, and I mean Al Katie's a good choice. I like Al Katie, but That's, Al Katie and Filler are not the same. He's he's not he's not a filler. Yeah, 
Yeah. Let me let me read you this this one thing that that I feel maybe is is another door to this whole thing. Um, mm-hmm. This came this came from a post from from Dominic Dun Dunsky, um, and and th- these are these are replies from Darren which Appleton, which we are fan, which we which we uh, are fans of. I'm going on record of saying that we're, we're fans down, of we're Dominic. down with the Dunsky. Yeah, Dunsky's dungeon. So this is Darren Appleton responding to Dunsky, and then uh, Pinozzo, Mike Pinozzo from uh, Billiards Digest pamphlet comes in. Pinocchio, Pinocchio. Darren Appleton responds, the way the WPA is gearing up, they're changing a lot of minds. Many, many players are pulling out a lot more than on that Hanoi list. Then Panazzo says, have fun going back to mediocre ballrooms, inconsistency, stiffed prizes, and a lack of visibility. Like total just, just pop in his balloon. And then I, I Appleton, who's a total class guy, uh, responds in, in, in the best way. He says, I beg to differ. Anyone can have an opinion. The past wasn't great for the WPA, but things can change. And what I see going is going to be a great change and a bright future for many of us, not just the top 10. So yeah. what, what this leads me to believe is... is Moscone Cup was on the WPA accepted list. Reyes was not. So is this uh, maybe Josh is, is going to the WPA in, in a more predator-friendly series and he doesn't want to upset the apple cart by playing in an unsanctioned event because that would cause him problems for the future of this this new WPA world. So that kind of that kind of... There's there's a few doors we can choose, and and like we said, we're all we're all just speculating at this point. But and Mike can say that, but but Mike, here here's my rebuttal to Mike and what he said. This is just announced with Guitar World Cup Ten Ball, which literally runs when the Sconey Cup is. It's yeah. From December fourth to December fourteenth. Uh, total prize four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Half a million. Half a million. So Mike can say that all he wants, but the proof in this in the pudding is WPA is putting more money up, yeah. right? They're and, getting serious. Uh, and this war, I think, is in this regard, is only going to force Matchroom to up the ante with the money. Yeah. And it's, and it's going to be actually better because now you have competing, essentially competing leagues. They're not leagues, but competing companies, right? And uh, four hundred fifty thousand. I mean, it's it's in Qatar. We know Qatar's putting up a lot of that money. Yeah. So you're not going to see that, you know, for some event that's in Vegas or in Dallas or whatever. But I mean, Predators, Predator has consistently been good with the money. I Always, think yeah. what it's going to show with the WPA side, with these bigger purses, is how much matchroom is not paying the players or. Yeah. Another way to say that is how much matchroom is taking for themselves. They're just adding events. They're not. They're not pumping up the dollars. They're just adding events. Yeah, yeah. And they're so, not. E- they're not even adding the dollars. So like, take it's like that, working for salary. Yeah, I mean, t- t- take that. And I'm not knocking. I'm not, I'm not saying it as a negative. But take that event I went to a few weeks ago in Philadelphia. Was a WNT. Uh, just a, a, a pop-up pop event. You know what? Hey, Mike, how about this? These little WNT events are are small ball, uh, pool rooms, you know, and they they're slapping a sticker on it that says WNT, and you get points. But yeah. that's just a pool room, like like it was before, Mike. So what are we talking about? You know, that was I mean that was a nice pool room, but they're all not nice. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a, the best pool. You know, it's probably. I'm not. I'm not knocking the pool room, but if Mike can say all he wants, but that's bullshit because that little event there, which had maybe seven pros at it, which is good for first year, right? Um, you know, Tyler was there, Skyler was there, Oscar was there. Uh, that was in a pool room, so it's not. So you could say in a lot of ways that's match room, same old, same old, going backwards, slapping but- your name. On a local tournament, you know, you know what's funny about those those small little pop up events. 
these guys aren't going there because they want to. They're going there because they need to, because it's it's Moscone Cup season. Who doesn't want the 30 grand bonus to make that team? It's right. like these these guys that are all fighting for 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 points and, and positioning, they have to be there. You think like these guys want to travel all these you, you think Skyler uh, is is uh playing in, in Olathe, Kansas because he's making his nut on tour. Right. And I've been to Olathe, Olathe <laughs> Kansas. Uh, it's a little place to go. Yeah, you're not going to be care- there because it, it, they have that really good eateries. That pool room is kind of neat, though. That pool room is kind of neat. It was kind of neat. It's as country bumpkin of a pool room that you can get, <laughs> but it was kind of neat. But outside of that pool room was nothing. Like, flat land for hundreds of miles and nothing there. Um, it's it's interesting. It, the whole thing is interesting. It's getting more interesting. The 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 screws are being turned a little bit. You know, it's it's kind of like a soap opera because it doesn't happen yeah. all at once. You know, um, I think the other thing is let's say filler for whatever reason. I'm just spitball here spitballing some ideas here let's say that filler is done with wnt it's natural let's say that 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 would be my take yeah right because i think the next thing is we're going to find out he's not going to be on the Moscone cup team yeah right i mean that's i, I would say it's probably a if, if, if they're going to flex on him like this i can't see him being on that team even if he really wanted to be on that team i think he would stick would it to them to? yeah why would he want to? Because now it's personal, right? Yeah. If if you were filler and they just they just did this to you, I don't know. I, I might say, you know what? Go have fun. I'll yeah. go over here. I'll go. I'll, I'll, why why travel to fucking Morocco and and uh, uh, Gibraltar, uh, Gibraltar, and and all these other places where I can just show up with this ten ball event. Win a, win a couple bands that way, and, and, and that'll make my whole year. Yeah, plus uh, I, I'm sure he's still getting Federation money, right? Yeah, absolutely. All those uh, Eastern plus Heroes. Predator, you know, plus Predator money. You I know, can see, cool. you know, and, and it's, it's smart. People shit on the WPA like you would not believe. It's so overwhelming the amount of people that are pro WNT over the WPA. But the WPA is smart because – they sat back the year. They didn't say anything. They took all the hits. They let Emily run wild. And this is the way. This is the way. Follow me. I'll show you greener pastures. And they and they let her just continually dig the Kamala hole. They sat back. They waited. They struck. They announced all these all these high dollar events coming up. You know, come over here. You 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 you. We're not gonna we're not gonna stick, stickler you for positioning points and all this. They offered up dollars. They offered up events, and, and they and they can let these guys be who they are. Because let's let's face it, Emily wants them to be uh, internet superstars and guys that are going on camera and doing interviews. This has always been a game, a, a table game played mostly in bars and darkness of me trying to beat you in a gambling match. You you, you can't turn this into into baseball and 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 basketball. It's it's just not working. It's it. it these guys just weren't built like this. We're pool players, man. We're, we're not showmen. Yeah. And the social media and all that stuff is really just her way of using the players to promote her company. Of course. Of course. It's it's smart. Believe me, it's, it's smart. And people that do it, like Fader, they do it great. But not everybody wants to be a part of it. You think a quiet, mild-mannered guy like Josh Filler wants to get out there and, and do nonstop interviews and say, hey, I'm Josh Filler. Make sure you're watching the Reyes Cup. Fuck no. He hates that shit, man. Yeah. The other thing is WPA, less events, more money. Josh could es- essentially travel 50% less and make 50% more. Yeah. And they're, and they're all companioning events with WPBA. So he can he can travel less, make more, and see his wife a whole hell of a lot more. Yeah, that, that looked that, those are all wins for a guy like that. Yeah, and I love that they did this. I love that they this 
I love that they did this right against the ma- matchroom event. I love that. Yeah. Because it's Good for saying, that. you know what, you know what? Yeah, again, I said it in the last show and I'll say it in this show. I'm not picking a side. There's, there's, uh, reasons that I agree. Some reasons I agree with matchroom. Some yeah. reasons I agree with WPA. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, I, I'm just a fan that wants to watch cool pool. And it's unfortunate that this is happening, this, all this drama, but, but it's happening and, and, you know, it's, in a lot of ways, it's kind of fun to watch. It's kind yeah, of fun of to wake course. up in the morning and you send me a message that says, did you see this? You know, <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of times you send me the messages, I'm already awake. Uh, and this guy, for you guys at home, this guy messages me at four o'clock in the morning. I don't think he sleeps. Uh, I'm, I'm up on the table, man. I'm working. I'm, I'm getting my four inch pocket. Keep working because, you know, I, I, I thought we had a match that we were going to play. Keep working. Keep working. Let me know when you're pretty close to being ready for me, and then I'll start practicing. Hey, don't just sing it. Bring it. Oh, boy. You know where my <laughs> table is. You know yeah, what? F- my table is on North <laughs> Union Street. Well, you you can oh, no, you can on South Union Street. Why would I play on a Fisher Price table like that when I got a well, real one in, in my what, pool that's, room? That's what, that's what where you were challenged. That's oh, I, so you you trying to Emily me? I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to the mountains of Pennsylvania to play on your home table. <laughs> Dodgers pitcher Walker Bueller robbed in park ambush. Yeah, they took a hundred thousand dollar watch from him, bastards. Wow. Uh, while we're here, it's day two of Hanoi. Really nothing crazy has happened yet other than Kachi lost uh, early round match. And and Tyler lost pretty early too, right? Oh, did he? I, did, I, did, I, th- oh, I think he I did. heard that, yeah. And also, a voice says, yeah. Or no, I'm sorry. Anton Raga didn't show up. John Mora uh, too. I heard John Mora's name. I think – over the next few weeks, uh, or at least for the rest of the year, it's it's gonna the names beyond filler are gonna start shaking out as to who uh, is gonna be a WPA player and who's gonna be a matchroom player. I think this is where the rubber meets the road. Yes, sir. We uh, we posted some very pro filler stuff a couple days ago because I, it's, it's he's a good guy, man. He's, he's 26, 27 years old. He, even even if he went back on his word, who cares, man? He's, he's he's a kid. He's a baby. What the hell did did we all say when when we were younger that that we're going to be held to now? It's so stupid. People saying that uh, Crazy. You know, this if this is how men are and they go back on their word, it's 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 so crazy, man. That the 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 shit that people write about this guy and and the response they have to him. You know, I I, I do a lot of car stuff, like car club stuff. I got I got buddies that that I. I chat with every day i say hey you going to the show and they say yeah i'll be at the show and then they don't show up so do i go on a whole josh filler tire no. you gave yeah. me your word you what? said you were showing up you know you, you yeah. put it to me in print yeah life happens shit happens does it mean i'm gonna kick him out of the car club because he just didn't want to come out of his house no it's it's bullshit man i wish people would look at this from from multiple angles instead of just saying oh he gave his word he wrote a, a statement with other guys, with with ten other guys, and he went back on it. That's that's wrong. That's so. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. And he's and and Filler's making life decisions. These are life decisions. These guys are writing this bullshit online, like total bullshit. They didn't like uh, like like what you said. But they, oh, they didn't show up for car club. This, this guy's life. This is career. You know, I so many comments I've read. It's uh, it's just uh, people are so wackadoodle, wackadoodle. Yeah, I think with, with with the influx of social media and people feel like they have a hand in, in in other people's life just because they follow them and and they and they feel like they can make these statements about them. Just shut up, man. Just 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 let him do what he wants to do because obviously he's not you. It's it's just tell me if anybody has an opportunity to turn down 75 grand in order to 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 make a statement about some other players the person who turns down that money is the first asshole 
So uh, right. and the thing is, it's not Filler's fight. It's Matchroom yeah. versus WPA. If Filler or any player is for the ban or against the game, it's not. It's not even their fight. It's not even the players' fight. But the, now the players, those players that stood up, stood up for Emily. Yeah. Right. She she asked them. Yeah. You know. So. Uh, all right. Let's not talk about it anymore. Oh, these guys. It's just funny oh. that the, the the company says that that we're not going to ban players and we're against banning players. Has banned a player. Right. Right. Say that again. Say that again. Yeah. The company that stood against banning players has now banned a player. I want that clip. Let that sink in, yeah. That should be that should be quoted by Pool Digest magazine. Take that one, Pinozzo. How can you be a magazine that covers the world of sports pool? That covers the world of pool and be so biased. Yeah. So one sided. It's it's like uh it's like CNN watching CNN. It's it's like mind blowing numbness. I've never seen sp- sports related um media so biased. And you, yeah. and how can you and you're not embarrassed by that? You're not embarrassed it's, by essentially because in a lot of ways you could say he works for Matchroom. Yeah. And 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 what does he get? Because Matchroom doesn't buy ads out of them. He's probably getting a free trip to Hanoi out of it, or uh, uh, or Manila. And I'm not anti Matchroom, I. I've said it, you know, some of the things that she does is great. Some of the things she does, I don't like, but I'm still watching, right? I'm still going to watch. I'm still going to watch Moscone Cup. I'm still going to watch Reyes Cup. I still going to watch on the way open. Not, not a lot because it's in the middle of the night. Uh, you know, it starts, I think 1130. It's, I think it starts 1130 our time or somewhere around there, maybe 11 o'clock our time. Um, crazy. Crazy! I you, lost all respect for that magazine. You know the the, the spe- speaking of of, of Pinozzo, he's always on with uh, Malindrome Mike, and uh, they're they eat Josh Filler's lunch like you would not fucking believe, and they go they go so crazy on him and and and, and what a backstabber, bad person he is. Uh, and and then one of the comments pops up, and uh, one of the kids asks uh, if he would support a union. And Mike says, uh, there's no way you can get the players to support a union. Are you crazy? So you see everybody's on board with getting rid of this one player. But in the same breath, you can say, uh, oh, they wouldn't be on board with, with banning together. It's 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 a, like they've already banned together. They've already, it's they've, union they've, mentality. Yeah, they've, they've, they've already. Mentality. Exactly. exactly that's what they, they've already proved what, what, what they're trying to do. So for for you to to make a statement about one and then a statement about the other in the same breath, it's it's just so hypocritical. It's and, and yeah. this, this is the type of thinking. These are the people that that uh, are succeeding at covering this game are people that are hypocritical, and it sucks because I I, I feel like being a middle aged man. It's like I I've I, I, I I'm not young. I'm not super old, and I I feel like I I can see both sides of this. But yet people don't want to. It's like they, we're, we're so mass media driven behind Matchroom. They're the way. That's the future. It's like Emily Fraser. She's got no background in this. It's like if, if you wanted a mechanic to work on your car, uh, would you would you hire somebody with no experience who got their job from being a, a, a friend, a, a, a family friend of somebody? Right. No. It's like you're going to look for a guy with experience who knows what the hell they're doing. It's not just not just the person who takes the most selfies and creates the most buzz because that's just stupid. That just means you're a sheep. Yes, yes. All right, let's not talk about him anymore. Wow, you get me worked up here, Jay. You it was supposed to be a short conversation about Josh yeah. Miller on an yeah, off we're, week. We're at almost thirty minutes. You said nobody's going to talk Jeez. about Josh Miller for thirty minutes. I said we couldn't <laughs> talk about him for for twenty minutes. 
<laughs> we just talked about it for 20 we've, minutes. We've disproved that theory. All right. Let's uh, – anything else we got to talk about? No, nah, I, I, this is just an, an impromptu or emergency uh, filler session, filler bitch session. Not anti-filler, pro-filler. Very pro-filler. And, and, and Josh, if, if you're one of the seven people watching, hey – uh, we're we're going to offer you something that nobody else can. And that, and that's a completely unbiased platform where we're going to let you talk and be a hundred percent. You, I know Jay's reached out to you guys. You've obviously seen the message. Look, I, I have a feeling that people are clamoring left and right for your word, but uh, we give you our word that if you want to step on with us, you're in a totally friendly zone. So. Yeah, we've never, we, we've never, um, ambushed any players uh, never will either I, I wouldn't i wouldn't am i would never ambush a player i may disagree with a player totally i wouldn't ambush him i think that's unprofessional you know i i, I, I think i wouldn't do to anybody what uh what the other show did to the president of the, of the wpa yeah yeah all right let's not talk about the other show anymore they'll start thinking we don't like them <laughs> If if we want to have a a, a show to show rumble, I'm I'm totally down for that. You know he wanted. Yeah, I don't want to say. It. You know what? I don't want to say it. Here. WWF tag team match, us versus them. Mm. All right. Thank you for my making me work overtime. And you're you're a salaried employee, so you don't you don't get and any. You know what I did today, so you know getting me on here was a big deal. Hey, uh, a shout out to our our sponsor. Oh, anyway, off the rail oh, apparel, apparel. Um, off the rail is the official sponsor of Level Two Billiards Live. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Jamie. I don't have my hat because I wasn't prepared for this. Well, I was. <laughs> Nah, I'm not prepared. You could say I don't even have my regular lights up. Uh, all right. See you. Uh, Wait. When will I see you, Nick? What? Level 2 Billiards, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, The Gangster Snapchat. Pool, Instagram. How come you always forget my the, Snapchat? You have a Snapchat? No, I'm the bullshit, yeah. Oh. I still want you to shout it out. You bastard. Gangster <laughs> Pool, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Check us out. Level, Check out this level show. Level 2 Billiards, Instagram. Facebook, Snapchat, OnlyFans, no Twitter, no. Oh, only, OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, are we back next week or two weeks? Um, you want to come back after the Reyes Cup, or you want to do like some small Reyes Cup shows after the Reyes Cup? After the Reyes Cup, let's let's practice a uh, a little roundtable next week. This way we can we can. Uh... Can we do a roundtable next week? Yeah, I'll come back next week and we do a round table. I, I already talked to, to your favorite uh, co-host of mine, Ariana. Oh, yeah? She, and uh, she, she, she said she's in. So uh, um, let's do a small little round table with her and we'll, we'll get each other. We'll we don't have to have subjects. Yeah, we'll get everybody's uh, Reyes Cup picks yeah. because that'll be the hot topic at the moment. Hopefully we'll hear something from Josh by then. Um, yeah. But let's, let's, let's practice okay. that. This way we can gear up big for Moscone. All right. All right, pal. You have a good Fraser, night. Fraser flexing. Frasernomics. Hashtag it. See you guys later. Level 2 Billiards. We have fun here.